Greetings everyone, Sir Morgan here from the technical department. Today I'll be showing you a general method we can use to construct any regular polygon given. Today we will construct a pentagon and a heptagon. I will now go ahead and border my paper. For this video, we will use our 60, 30, 60, 30 set square and also our 45 set square. This angle measuring 45 degree. Right, so this is called the 45 set square and we commonly call this one as the 60, 30. Okay, I will now draw the first side of my polygon which is a pentagon to measure 60 millimeters I will now outline my 60 millimeters on this line and label the line AB I will label this line AB. We will now draw a line from B and also from A using our 45 degree set square. For this, we must put our T-square under our set square. The T-square must be held firmly in place with your left hand or the other hand you're, you're not using the draw. The same will be repeated but with the 60-30 set square. We will use the 60 degree angle and we will draw a line from A upward. And also from B right so we will turn our set square and we will now use this 60 side we will label this intersection or this point as point 6 and this point as point 4 We will now draw a line from point 4 through point 6. Now we will bisect the measurement we will now bisect the distance of point 4 and 6 to get point 5 in order to bisect this distance we need to open our compass to just a little over half and this is an estimate and we will scribe arcs from point 4 and 6 to intersect each other 
on both sides of this line. We will now draw a line from this intersection to this intersection. We now have point 5, which is the midpoint between 4 and 6. Now, this angle is a 45 degree angle, while this angle is our 60. We also bisected the distance between 0.4 and 0.6 to give us 0.5. We will now open our compass from 4 to 5 or from 5 to 6. And we will scribe an arc from 6 using the measurement of 6 to 5. Now we have point 7. We will scribe from 7 upwards to cut the line. giving us point 0.8 from point 0.8 we just got point 0.9 so 6 7 8 9 we could continue on and on Now, to construct a regular pentagon, which is a five-sided polygon, we will open our compass from 5 to B and scribe or draw a circle. If we wanted to construct an octagon, we would open our compass from point 8 to point B and scribe our circle. We will now construct a pentagon which is a five-sided polygon. So open your compass from 5 to point B or from 5 to point A and you will draw a circle. Now we will open our compass to AB AB is the length of our first side of our pentagon. We will put our compass at A and we will scribe an arc to cut our circle. We will put our compass at B and we will scribe another arc to cut our circle. From this intersection, we will scribe the final arc to cut the circle. The final step is to draw lines from A to this intersection, from here to this intersection, and from this intersection to this intersection.
Now we have our regular pentagon where the length of all sides are equal. This is a method we can use to construct any given polygon. If we wanted to construct a seven-sided regular polygon which is called a heptagon, we would have to open our compass from point seven, then we would put our compass to be and scribe a circle. So I will now construct a heptagon. So from point seven, we will scribe or draw a circle. Now we will open our compass from A to B, which is 60 millimeters. And we will scribe arcs to cut our circle from A, from B, from this intersection, from this intersection, and finally, from this intersection to cut our circle. We will now draw the lines from A to the intersections and from each intersection to its neighboring intersection to complete our heptagon. Now this method is a general method that is used to construct any given polygon. So the final step in constructing the heptagon is that we draw lines from A to each intersection and from each intersection to its neighboring intersection. This method is a general or universal method that is used to construct any regular polygon. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.